Okay, so 50 Cent back at it with his shenanigans once again. This time he's going at Lil' Kim. He's really trying to, you know, restart and ignite the beef between Lil' Kim and Nicki Minaj. And he posted a picture of a picture of Lil' Kim and an owl, pretty much comparing them together. And then what the real dig was is that he took a shot at her daughter's eye. Now, if you don't know her daughter's eye, she has like an eye defect and... I don't know why 50 decided to bring the kids into it because that's one thing that even if you're from the streets, you from anywhere, it don't even have to be the streets. The one thing that everybody usually agrees on, hey, we're going to leave the women and we're going to leave the kids out of it. But 50, I don't know, man. He's just, this, but this is kind of who he's been his whole career. Like this is really on brand with 50. He, he doesn't, you know, take no, he really don't take no prisoners. You know, he doesn't hold anything back. Like, when you see stuff like this, you kind of realize, you know what? I'm pretty sure I understand why this dude got shot nine times. He probably did this to somebody, and they wasn't really going for it, and they tried to really take 50 out. Luckily for 50 Cent, he's a, he was able to survive and, you know, still have a life and a career to this day. But, but if I was Lil' Kim, man... I would try as much as possible to sue 50 Cent for defamation of character because if you don't know, lawsuits are the only thing that seems to get through 50's head. Because 50 at one point, he had an issue with Ross and he tried to really end Ross's career. You know, he did a, he did a, um, a skit like Pimp and Curly and he ended up putting out a sex tape with one of Rick Ross's baby moms. You know, she ended up suing. 50 Cent lost that case and you know that's what really made him file for bankruptcy I think that was what like back in like 2015 so if I was Lil' Kim that would probably be the route that I'll go cause man for you to bring up somebody's daughter like come on 50 like man you gotta be better than that man dude you got shows on stars you on major networks like this should be this should be beneath you but he always said that the one thing that he has that he be able to use his rap persona and say, oh no, that's 50 Cent. Curtis Jackson is the person that's on stars and on power and doing stuff like that. So he's able to really cloak all of that entertainment. And that's how his, that's been his, like his big escape and how he's able to really dock and dodge and maneuver through these, uh, you know, white executives. Cause when they see stuff like this, they probably thinking like, yo, what's wrong with this guy? But Hey, that's what happens when you have that other career that really elevated you and you can always use that and to really fall back on that. Now, one thing people are saying about 50 is that he never really has this energy when it comes to, you know, his white counterparts. Like when Chelsea Handler goes at him or she takes digs at him, he's always pretty silent. He always pretty quiet. But as soon as it comes to like a black female, you know, he's quick to open his mouth. I'm not sure if it's some Queens, but uh, Brooklyn, you know, issues going on back in the day. I don't know what it is because, you know, both of these guys have been in the game for a minute. So I'm sure they've had crossed paths a numerous around the time. I'm sure they probably exchanged words. You know, stuff has happened. And one thing about 50, like, Ye always says, man, 50 going to hold on to a grudge forever. Like, he just don't let stuff like that go, man. I just hope this situation doesn't really go nowhere because best believe, you know, that daughter, she clearly has a father. And once you play with another man's daughter, Man, all bets go out the window. They ready to crash out and do anything crazy to really get their respect back and to let you know, like, hey, man, ain't not the one. I'm not the one to play with, man. You take that stuff with any with somebody else. Like, leave me out of that and leave my family out of that. So I just hope this don't really go nowhere, man. I just hope this just stays on wax, stays on social media, and just this story kind of just really just fades away. But yeah, man, that's really my take on all of this, man. Like if you want to, comment if you want to, subscribe if you want to. If not, life goes on.